Hello and uh, welcome to Zerksank Says. I'm Zerksank and this is a special episode, again, most episodes are special because uh, I'm trying something new in all of them and new things are special. I started in Winamp, didn't mean to, but it doesn't matter because uh, you can already see and hear, hopefully you can hear, <laughs> I haven't tested it but you should be able to hear, Airport Lounge. Open source, royalty free music by Kevin McLeod, YouTube's soundtrack maker. He's not like directly the soundtrack maker of YouTube, but a lot of people use his music because it's the first thing that comes up when you search royalty free or open source music. Oh my god, fucking hell. That's a fucking Windows sound. I bet that went into the recording. This episode is going to be quite a long and very boring episode. I've decided that because I am boring, I don't want to change myself. I feel like I want to be me. Why would I not want to be me? Being me, being yourself, more importantly, you being yourself, everybody being themselves, is what matters. So I decided that I'm going to embrace the fact that I'm boring be boring and make uh, boring content so what better way to well, let me put this on to repeat what better way to be boring than to browse through some uh, wikipedia articles I personally don't find wikipedia articles to be boring but when I say stuff about them just random articles reading out random articles you'll find it gets pretty boring pretty quickly. So let's dive straight into this random article. What's the command again? Alt X. It's not Alt X. I'm pressing Alt X. Load a random article, Alt X. Do I have to be on an article? Load a random article. Oh no. What's actually happening is... Sheepdog Trial. Lake Beloy. Chugoku Junior College Chugoku Junior College is a private junior college in Kitaku, Okayama, Japan. It has been attached to Chugoku Gakuen University since 2002. Nika Tabina Nika Tabina was a Soviet poet. She became famous for her profound and emotional poems, which she wrote at an early age. She started writing poetry at the age of six and published her first book in 1984 at the age of 10. A recording of her recitations sold over 30,000 copies in the then Soviet Union. Tabina wrote her first complete poem at age four. Two years later, she was discovered by writer Yulian Semyonov, who spent part of the year in her hometown of Yalta. Tabina's talent set her apart from her classmates in school, where she was learning ahead of her grade. She studied the piano and her favorite subject was mathematics, which she saw as akin to verses. I don't know how, but then again, I'm not a genius, like her. I'm a genius in a different way. At the age of 10, Tabina published her first book, First Draft, great title, with an introduction by somebody in 1984. She died at the age of 27 after falling from a window. That's pretty sad. That's, uh, seems like she could have made some pretty impactful, impacting poetry to the world, but she died from falling from a window. Doesn't say if she was pushed or fell out by accident or killed herself. Oof, this is a bit of a long one. Doesn't seem that interesting either. The physical world, I know a thing or two about that.
Let's just uh, read the beginning bits because otherwise I could be refreshing stuff for a while. The Physical World is the second studio album by Canadian rock duo Death From Above, 1979. Released on September 9th, 2014 by Last Gang Records and Warner Brothers Records. It was produced by Dave Sardi, who had previously worked with artists such as Oasis, Red Hot Chili Peppers, LCD Sound System, <laughs> the meme music, and Nine Inch Nails, which is also kind of meme music. Oh, this is a good one. Pendiala. The Bachelor of Sacred Theology. It's a graduate level academic degree in theology. The Bachelor of Sacred Theology is offered by a number of pontifical universities. It is sometimes offered as a graduate degree for students who have already completed a Bachelor's of Arts or other first degree. It can also be offered as an It's granted directly by church hierarchy after one has completed requirements in addition to those necessary for a civil degree, but which are required for ordination. Within the Catholic Church, oh it's a fucking bunch of religion shit, I should have figured that out by the fact it was called sacred theology, but let's move on. I don't know how to pronounce the C with a thing on it. Let's learn how. That's Cortana. I ain't doing that shit. It's gonna mess up my recording. A Gift to the Last is a CBBC television Christmas special broadcast in 1976. A subsequent family drama series that ran from 1978 to 1979 and a stage play based on the pilot episode. In both the special and the series, Gordon Pinsent portrayed Northwest Mounted Police Officer Sergeant Edgar Sturgis. Cool. Parks and Recreation, Season 3. I don't know why this would be a specific season, have its own article, you know, you just put it all into one article. Parks and Rec, don't need to go into that. It's popular enough that I don't need to talk about it. Reading the Wikipedia article about specifically Season 3 could be boring, but A. There's a threshold that I, I'm trying to meet here. I want to stay soothing. This is the kind of video that you put on when you want to go to sleep. You want to put on when you want some background noise that's not going to take away from the conversation or take away from what you're doing. You just put it on, semi-attention to it. If you just want a soothing voice, you know, if you feel like having company, that's what I'm here to offer. I'm going to talk now about CFSHFM Christian Radio. Andre Bertolacci. Let's see. Let's read the IPA phonetic thing here. Bertolacci. Is this pronounced chi? I'll assume it is. If I'm wrong, it doesn't matter because no one cares about this video. Anyway, Andrea is an Italian professional footballer who plays as midfielder for Milan and the Italian national team. This guy began his career in Roma, at Roma, at Roma, AS Roma, and was signed by Milan in 2015. He is right, football's boring to me. Later for the Sky is the third album by American singer-songwriter Jackson Brown, released in 1974. See in 1974 in music. See 1974 in music. It was nominated for a Grammy Award in 1975, only a year later, and peaked number 14 on the Billboard's Pop Albums chart. I'm sure it was fantastic, 
Jackson. Bob Galvin. Robert William Bob Galvin, dead guy, uh, was a US executive. He was a son and he was the son of the founder of Motorola, Paul Galvin, and served as CEO of Motorola from Ooh, I didn't know Motorola was that old. I thought they just made phones for like two years back in the early early to mid 2000s. I think they might still have phones, but who knows? There's only one way to find out. What? This company is 87 years old. It was founded on September 25th, 1928, 87 years ago. And it went defunct five years ago. I told you, they, they stopped making phones, I guess, or they stopped, like, yeah, they were popular for a while with their phones, that's how I knew about the Motorola phones, but then Apple came along, and uh, HTC, Hawaii, I don't know how to pronounce this, if, if anyone can uh, fucking help me pronounce this, Hawaii, then, uh, Please let me know. Come on. Focus. Who are we? Who am I? Who are you? We're nobody. And we're the same. But enough of that. Let's get back to the random articles. Raspberry spur blight is caused by the fungus Didymella aplanata. Aplanata. Yeah. This plant pathogen is most problematic on red raspberries. Is the is most problematic on red raspberries than on Is that is that correct? English. This plant pathogen is most problematic on red raspberries than on it shouldn't that be more problematic. Let's edit the article. Where's the edit button? There's that one. Fuck it. Someone else edit this. If you're watching this video and you edit Wikipedia articles, please check out Raspberry Spur Blight article for a grammatical mistake. If there's no grammatical mistake there, then uh, dislike my video, please. Just to let me know that I fucked up. And I'm okay with that, because, you know, I'm open-minded, I like to learn. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. When I'm right, I'm right. So shut up when I'm right. Just accept it when I'm right. When I'm wrong, please tell me so I can fix it. The fungus infects the leaves first and then spreads to the cane. It causes necrotic spots on the cane near the base of the petiole attachment. Raspberry spur blight can cause a significant reduction in yield. Fruit blight, premature leaf drop, and weak bud and cane growth. The magnitude of damage is not clearly understood in the United States, however, studies from Scotland suggest damage to the cane leaf to the to the cane itself is limited. The disease has minor economic impacts by reducing leaves in the summer or killing buds. Major economic damage occurs if the disease manages to kill the entire cane. In the United States, this disease is found in Oregon and Washington. Pretty interesting. Luther William Luther Williams Field is a baseball stadium in Mason or Macon, Georgia. It was built in 1929, so it's kind of old, and is the centerpiece of the Central City Park in Mason, Mason. Today, it is the second oldest minor league stadium in the country. I told you it was old. The original covered grand the original covered grandstand is still in place though a new tin roof has replaced the former wooden one. A black iron gate surrounds the field, the front of which says the name of it baseball park. That's back when baseball was two words. <laughs> You remember that time? I don't. Baseball, baseball, you know, squish it together, make it easier to spell, I guess. Not really, but whatever. 
Beach music is Pat Conroy's novel of Jack McCall, a South Carolina native who flees the South with his daughter Leah after his wife commits suicide. I wonder why she killed herself. She's probably realized that life is meaningless and that we're all going to die at some point. The novel explores the Vietnam War era, the Holocaust, and the coming of age in the 20th century. It was published in 1995, and it probably sucks, because most of those topics are kind of boring. Bibi Ayesha, not to be confused with Bibi Aisha, the only female warlord in Afghanistan, Bibi Ayesha controls a force of 50 to 150 men in the Narin district of Baglan province. Ooh, it's an interesting one. She shares her name with the 7th century wife of Muhammad Aisha, daughter of Abu Bakr, also known as Kaftar, the pigeon. She operated for at least two decades fighting against the Soviet invasion and the Taliban takeover. She dismissed notions that the roles of women in Afghanistan should exclude military roles, saying it makes no difference if you are a man or a woman when you have to fight the heart of a fighter. Sorry, that was a little bit of an impression I'm putting in there. I don't know how she sounded, but probably a little bit like that. However, she does insist that a Maram male relative accompany her into battle. I guess that uh, seems to make sense in, to so in some way, probably, maybe. Jenny Wiley. Jennifer Susan Wiley is an American former competition swimmer. Wiley represented the United States as a 14-year-old in the 1972 Summer Olympics in Munich, Germany. She competed in the finals of the women's 400m freestyle and finished 5th overall with a time of 4 colon 24 dot 07 dot. People's Services Party The People's Services Party shortened to PSP, not to be confused with the Sony handheld device, is a political party in Vanuatu, 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 yeah, uh, I don't know much about politics in that country, or any country really, but... Oh, here's another one. Polit politics. The politics and government of Tuvalu. Tuvalu! Sorry, that was autistic. I'm not apologizing though, because I feel like you should live a life with no regrets. The general elections were held in Tuvalu on the 12th of September 1985, as there were no political parties, all candidates for the 12 seats ran as independents, with nine of the incumbents retaining their seats. Tomasi Pua... 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 <laughs> Pua, Pua. <laughs> was re-elected Prime Minister following the elect... in the following... Prime Minister following the elections. Oh, okay, 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 okay what happened there? The monarch of this place was... Elizabeth II, the Governor General was Jacobi. It, 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 fucking, what is this shit? Crash and Burn book. A memoir by an American comedian. Electron transferring flavor protein. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. An electron transfer flavor protein. TF, or electron transfer flava, flava protein complex is a flava protein located on the matrix phase of the inner mitochondrial membrane and functions as a specific electron acceptor for primary dehydro, dehydrogenases 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 yeah 
transferring the electrons to terminal respiratory systems such as electron transferring flavor protein dehydro dehydrogenase 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 they can be functionally classified into constitutive housekeeping ETFs, mainly involved in the oxidation of fatty acids, fatty acids group 1 and ETFs produced by some pro prokaryotes, prokaryotes fucking hell, under specific growth conditions, Ricky Iving, electrons, only from the oxidation of specific substrates group 2 that says oxidation is uh, oxidation of specific substrates but I'm, I'm making a joke ETFs are het <laughs> come on heterodimeric proteins composed of an alpha and a beta so um Sub of an alpha and beta subunit, ETFA and ETFB, and contain an FAD cofactor and AMP. ETF consists of three domains. Domains 1 and 2 are formed by the N and C terminal portions of the alpha subunit, respectively, while domain 3 is formed by the beta subunit. Domains 1 and 3 share an almost identical alpha beta alpha sandwich fold. Ooh, I could go for a sandwich right now. While well, domain 2 forms an alpha beta alpha sandwich similar to that of bacterial flavidoxins, FAD is bound in a cleft between domains 2 and 3, while domain 3 binds the AMP molecule. Interactions between domains 1 and 3 stabilize the protein, forming a shallow bowl where domain 2 resides. Mutation in ETFs can lead to deficiency of passing reducing equivalent of FADH2 to electron transport chain causing glutaric acidemia type 2. That's pretty interesting. Let's see what a fucking flavor protein is. Flavor proteins are proteins that contain a nucleic acid derivative from riboflavin, the flavin, I don't know how to pronounce flavin, the flavin adenine dinucleotide FAD or flavin flavin mononucleotide FMN. Friday night magic, am I right? Well that would be FNM, but whatever, we're close enough. Flavor proteins are involved in a wide array of biological processes, including, but by no means limited to, bioluminescence, that's uh, glow in the dark, uh, if you didn't know, removal of radicals, that's um, terrorists, contributing to oxidative stress, photosynthesis, DNA, that a DNA is uh, deoxyribonucleic acid, just in case you didn't know, uh, repair and Apoptosis. The spectroscopic properties of the flavin cofactor make it a natural reporter for the changes occurring within the active site. This makes flavoproteins one of the most studied enzyme families. That's why I'm studying it right now, I guess. The first mention of a flavoprotein, flavor protein, <laughs> I need to know it's pronounced, but whatever, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It dates all the way back to 1879, when the work on the composition of cow's milk resulted in the isolation of a bright yellow pigment that we now know as flavin, but terminated lactochrome at the time, but turned lactochrome at the time. By the early 1930s, the same pigment had been isolated from a range of sources and recognized as the component of the vitamin B complex. Its structure was determined almost simultaneously by two groups in 1934 and give the name riboflavin derived from the ribitol, so it would be ribi, ribitol sign, so ribitol side chain and yellow color of the conjugated ring system. So let's see what the fucking flavin is. 
Flavin from Flavus or Flavus. It probably is Flavin then. Flavus. Because Flavus wouldn't. <laughs> Flavus couldn't be Latin. Could it? Would that not be Flavus? Flavus? Flavus yellow? Is the common name for organic compounds based on pteridine formed by tricyclic heterocycle isoaloxazine. I bet people love coming up with these names. It kind of makes me think now when people struggle to pronounce Zerxanx, Zeprol, Zephrolamir, it's kind of like reading out these names. The biochemical source is the vitamin ri riboflavin. <laughs> what did I say? Fucking hell. The flavin moi, moi, moiety is often attached with an adenosine diphosphate to form flavin adenine dinucleotide, FAD, and in other circumstances is found as flavin mononucleotide, or FMN. That's the Friday Night Magic thing. As a phosph as a phosphorylated form of riboflavin, it is in one or the other of these formats that flavin is present as a prosthetic group in flavor proteins. The flavin group is capable of undergoing oxidation reduction reactions and can accept either one electron in a two-sided process or two electrons at once. Whoa, fucking hell. DP, am I right? <laughs> Double penetration, that's a sex joke. Reduction is made with the addition of hydrogen atoms to specific nitrogen atoms on the iso -al This thing doesn't even have an article, so I'm guessing it's not real. This is like if I just put the word Zephrolamir in here, or Zerkzank in here, like fucking whatever. Equilibrium between the two, between the oxidized left and totally reduced right forms of flavin. Hmm. Pretty graphic and uh, informative. Got some uh, formulas and some uh, structures here. Chemical structures. Uh, cool. Moving on. Ibrahim. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I want some things that are easy to read. Matilda of Bologna or Bologna. Bolo. There's a poem. I should read some poems on here. Alright. Fuck that. Tolombe ye Mohammed shit fuck. <laughs> Come on, Wikipedia. Latis Dernum Marshali. Uh, it's not too too hard, I guess. Latis Dernum Marshali. Is a species of beetle in the family Cerambicidae. It was described by Browning in Browning, Browning, I guess, in 1935. Sir Thomas Allen, first baronet. Sir Thomas Allen, first baronet, 1612 to 1685. Pretty long life back then. Uh, he was an officer of the Royal Navy who saw service in the English Civil War and the Second and Third Anglo-Dutch Wars. A royalist during the, uh, this is really boring, medical tattoo. A medical tattoo is a tattoo used for indicating medically relevant condition or body location. Medical tattoos can be used for a number of reasons. Yeah, to look sick. Angel Magana film actor. Shinieku, what? I don't know what that means. Homecoming, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. An episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer is the fifth episode of the third season of the television series, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's fucking boring as fuck, man. Alexander Kuchuryevenko. Maiden Yamanaka Station. Station in Japan. Freeze frame. 
the king. Here's a good one. This is my favourite kind of article to read on Wikipedia. Harenfa is a town and commune in Schleff province, Algeria. Simple, concise, and straight to the point. Aviva Chomsky, born April 20th, 1957, is an American teacher. Fucking old ass fuck. Oh wait, this person will be still alive. Sorry. It's not just fucking Kiwis. This is fucking Kiwis. Yeah, these are fucking Kiwis. But it's got the um, scientific name here. The Latin binominal classification name. A medicinal plant. It's a fucking kiwi. Yeah, the, the fruits the size of the walnut are edible commercially in New Zealand where it became superseded by... Oh, okay, so this is a different... Holy shit. Would you look at that? There are a bunch of different fucking kiwis. Well, you learn something new every day. Wonder how useful this information is? Well, I think uh, half an hour is a good time to end the episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time on Zuxang Says.